dear students here is the second lecture so i start with the last example that is long line is not second countable so our example was so this was our example we claim that the topological space x r product with 0 1 with dictionary order topology order topology is not second countable okay so first of all we assume that if possible it is second countable so if possible x is second countable then there exist a countable basis beta for the topology on x now what is my x x is just this real line right and this portion that is this kind of strip right this is my zero and this is all possible this kind of segment this is all possible this kind of segment right now we choose a set a which is just x cross half where x belongs to r that is this points so obviously this is uncountable so then a is uncountable now let this point x cross half belongs to the open set ux which is just x cross 0 to x cross 1 that's mean if this is my x so this is my x cross half right and this is just open interval ux okay now since beta is a basis So for each point that is element x cross half there exist a beta x not beta x we can say there exist a bx that is a basis element from this beta such that x cross half belongs to bx subset of ux. Now, it is easy to see that if x not equal to y then ux and uy are different and since bx and by are the subset of ux and uy respectively so bx and by are also disjoint so then so this implies the map f from a to x which is defined as x cross half going to sorry from beta going to this to bx is an injective is n injective function because
x not equal to y imply dx not equal to by since f is injective and a is uncountable so beta is also uncountable therefore the topological space x which is just say long line is not second countable okay now we shall see another important result theorem so let x be a topological space and y be a subspace of x then x is first countable implies y is also first countable similarly this is true for the second countable as well that is if x is second countable then y is also second countable and here is the proof first assume that x is first countable now we need to prove that y is also first countable so let x belongs to y that is choose an arbitrary element from y right that is that implies x belongs to x as well right now since x is first countable so there exists a countable basis say beta x at x now let another collection beta x y such that it is the collection of b intersection y where b belongs to beta x x now we claim that this collection forms a basis at x in y why so let b x b an open set in y containing x then bx equal to ux intersection y where ux is an open set containing x that is open set in x right now since beta x is an is a 
countable basis at x so there exist bx belongs to this set such that x belongs to bx subset of ux now that will imply x belongs to bx intersection y subset of ux intersection y which is vx now see that this is just the element of this bx y right now that will imply that collection beta x y forms a countable basis at x in y now that implies y is first countable okay now we prove the second part of this theorem that is if x is second countable then y is also second countable this part is also simple one now assume x is second countable then there exist a countable basis beta x of x right now let beta y is just a collection of all b intersection y such that b belongs to that beta x now we claim that this collection forms a basis in y now claim beta y forms a basis in y so let x belongs to y and b be an open set in y such that x belongs to b right now x belongs to y implies x belongs to x as well right and b equal to some u intersection y where u is an open set in x containing the point x fine now since beta x this beta x forms a basis So there exist b x belongs to beta x such that x belongs to b x subset of u. Now that will imply x belongs to b x intersection y subset of u intersection y which is equal to b. And we know that this is an element of b y. Therefore, B Y forms a basis of Y. Now, since B X is countable, so B Y is also countable. Since B the y is countable so we can say that 
y is second countable. Okay. Now there is another result. It says that another theorem. Countable product of first countable spaces similarly for second countable spaces is first countable Similarly, second countable. Now the proof is again is not a difficult one. So assume proof. First of all, we will assume that x i is second countable now we prove that that product xi is also second countable Since each xi is second countable, second countable, so there exists a Countable basis, say beta i for each x i. Right now, let beta tilde n is a collection of b one b2 up to bn product with xn plus 1 xn plus 2 in this way where bi belongs to beta i now obviously since each of these beta i is countable so this collection is also countable that is its cardinality is just of cardinality of beta 1 cross beta 2 up to beta n right now then beta n tilde is countable now let beta tilde equal to union of this beta n tilde now then this is also countable this is also countable as beta tilde is a countable union of countable sets right now we claim that beta tilde forms a basis for the product of xi okay just recall this 
So we have xi is a second countable topological space for each i and we claim that the product is also second countable. Now since each of xi is second countable, so we have a countable basis bi for each xi, right? Now we consider a collection of the basis which is beta tilde n which is just equal to beta 1 up to product with beta n cross the usual spaces and beta i belongs to sorry b i belongs to beta i so this is a countable set right now we have taken all of this union over this then this is also countable now we claim that this beta beta tilde forms a basis for the topological space x i tilde okay now to show that beta tilde is a basis for x product of x i, we first assume a point x from product of x i. So what is the point x? This is just a sequence of x i, right? Okay. Now we choose a point x belongs to product of x i and take a point, take a open set u such that x belongs to u where u is an open set containing x in product of xi right so x is an arbitrary point and u is an arbitrary open set now we need to prove that beta tilde is a basis right that is, is a countable basis that's mean we need to show that there exists an element from beta tilde which contains x and subset of u fine now this is a product topology and x belongs to u right now then there exists a basis this is just usual basis u1 cross u2 this one such that x which is just xi belongs to that product of ui subset of u right now this is a usual basis in the product topology that's mean ui equal to xi for all but finitely many i. Now we assume that ui equal to xi for all i bigger equal to n plus 1. So we always have some this kind of n because ui not equal to xi for only finitely finitely many i right now we can take that n is the maximal one so we can we have always this kind of n such that ui equal to xi for all i bigger equal to n plus 1 now each xi belongs to ui and beta i forms a basis in x i now this implies there exist b i belongs to beta i such that x i belongs to b i right subset of ui fine now x belongs to this product b1 cross b2 up to bn product is x n plus 1 
this way, right? And this is subset of u1 plus u2 un product with x n plus 1 this and we have already proved that this is subset of u this is subset of u and just observe that this one is an element of beta tilde why what is my beta tilde see just go before so beta tilde is union over this kind of beta tilde n right now if we choose my small n equal to capital n then that element actually this element actually belongs to beta n tilde right which is subset of beta tilde now since b1 cross b2 bn x n plus 1 belongs to beta tilde so beta tilde forms a basis for product of xi right now beta tilde is countable so product of xi is second countable second countable now similarly you can prove that if the topological space that is if each of the topological space xi is first countable then their product is also the first countable the proof is almost same instead of beta you can just write beta x that's all the remaining proof will be the similar one okay so we have we have already seen first countable topological space and second countable topological space right now we shall see the remaining two topological spaces that is the separable topological spaces and the lindelof topological spaces now first of all just recall the definition of a dense set so what is a dense set so let x be a topological space and a subset of x then a is said to be dense in x if a closure equal to x that is in other words for each x belongs to x and for each open set u containing x there exist a belongs to a such that a belongs to u now what is a separable topological space now we can define that separable topological space now a topological space
x is said to be separable if x has a countable dense subset for an example again the topological space r with usual topology is separable as the countable set Q countable set Q is dense in R and what is a topological space so can you give me one topological space which is not separable again if we take r with discrete topology then it is not separable now r with discrete topology is not separable Okay, so this is the definition of separable topological space. Now we have another topological space which is called Lindelof. So it is just a countable version of the compact set that means a topological space x is said to be Lindelof if every open cover A of X has a countable sub collection A dash which covers X. That means if you have a compact topological space, then that is Lindelof. That means example every compact topological space is Lindelof now before going through the examples of these topological spaces I need some theorems which is very important now the first result is every second countable topological space is first countable. And the proof is thus the trivial that is follows from the definition. 
So let X be a topological space which is second countable. So let beta be a countable basis for x. Now we need to prove that it is first countable, right? That's mean we need to prove that for any arbitrary point x, there is a countable basis at x. So let x be an arbitrary point in x. Now let beta x is just the basis which is all the element b from beta such that x belongs to b. Now we claim that beta x forms a basis at x. Now this is simple because for any open set u containing x we have x belongs to b subset of u for some b belongs to beta right because beta is a countable basis that means beta is a basis for the topological space x and x belongs to x so therefore we have a basis element b which is subset of u and since b belongs to b sorry x belongs to b that will imply b belongs to that beta x and this implies beta x is a basis at x and since beta x is subset of beta and beta is countable so beta x is also countable since x is arbitrary so we can say x is first countable okay right so this proof is the simple one that is follows from the definition now i will state some more theorems some more results which is not the trivial one but you can easily prove this by using the definitions. Now the another important result is another theorem every second countable topological space is separable. That means if you have a topological space X which is second countable then it is separable. That is it should have a countable dense subset. Now the proof is again simple. So let X be a second countable 
topological space and beta B A countable basis for X. Okay. Now, so let beta equal to this collection B in where n belongs to natural number. So we know beta is countable, right? So we can write the elements of beta equal to B1, B2, B3 up to Bn. Now for each non empty Bn, we choose xn belongs to bn that's mean if some of the bn is empty then we will not take any element but if that is non empty then we will choose one element xn from the bn then now let d is that collection xn such that xn belongs to bn and bn is non empty now we claim that d is dense in x that is d closure equal to x that is if we choose any element in x and if we choose any open set containing that point then that open set should contain one element from D. Why? So let X belongs to X and U be an open set containing X. Now since beta is a basis So there exists A and N such that X belongs to that B N subset of U. Now since X belongs to B N, so B N is not empty, that you imply X N belongs to B N and xn belongs to d right now that will imply xn belongs to d intersection u right so we choose an arbitrary open set u containing x and we get an element xn from d now this implies D is dense in X that is D closure equal to X okay so second countable means first countable and if you have a second countable topological space then that will also imply that topological space is separable as well now there is another result it says if you have a second countable topological space then the topological space is Lindelof as well so this is another theorem every topological Every 
second countable topological space is Lindelof. Okay, so here is the proof. So let X be a second countable topological space and beta which is just b n in belongs to natural number b a countable basis for the topological space X. Now we need to prove that the topological space is Lindelof. That is, so let A be an open cover of X. Now we need to prove that A has a countable sub collection which also covers x so for each bn if there is an element a belongs to that script A such that BN subset of A then choose one A belongs to this such that BN subset of A and call it a n just remember this one that is you have to understand this logic so what is this so choose one element b n right now if there is an element a from this open cover such that b n subset of a then we will choose one such element so it may happen that b n subset of many elements of a right that's mean it may happen that b n subset of two elements of a b n subset of n elements of a even it may happen that b n subset of infinitely number of elements of a in any case we will choose only one element we will choose only one element a such that b n subset of a and we will call that element by a n and if so if there is no element from a such that bn subset of a we shall not take any element take any element okay or or we just take 
a n equal to m t. Okay, that's mean if for some b n there is no element from a which is a superset of b n, then we will not take any element from a. Now take the collection a dash equal to all such a n. Is it clear the collection a dash? Okay, I am explaining again. So what is this collection? So obviously this is subset of this, right? Now what is this collection? Suppose B1 subset of some A alpha for some alpha. It may happen that B1 subset of A beta as well. It may happen that B1 subset of some A something, right? It can be infinitely many. In this case, we will choose only one of these, only one of these, say this one as my A1. So we will choose, in this case, we will choose A1 equal to just A beta or A alpha or A gamma or anything, which will choose only one. Now, if B2 is not subset of any element of A, then my A2 will be just empty. So, we will not choose any A2. Right? That's mean in this case, we will get a countable collection. Clear? Now, we claim that this countable collection A dash covers is non-empty and it covers x. Now we claim this collection is non-empty and covers x. Actually both proofs are the same. So why it is non-empty? So why we always get some a n, some non-empty a n. Because let x be an arbitrary point in x. Okay. Now we know that this covers x, right? Now that imply there exists a, say a alpha, such that x belongs to a alpha, right? Again, it is given that each of A alpha is open, right? So, X belongs to A alpha and A alpha is open. That will imply there exists N natural number such that X belongs to B N subset of A alpha, right? Since there is an element A alpha from A, the script A such that B n subset of A alpha that imply A n exists. Right? That imply that collection is non-empty. Now we claim that it covers X. Again the proof is the same. So we claim this covers x. Why this covers x? So let x be an arbitrary point in x. Okay? And we will prove that there exists an element from a dash such that x belongs to a dash. Why? This is the proof as the same before. First of all, we know that that A 
covers x. Now since a covers x, so there exist x say a alpha such that x belongs to a alpha and a alpha belongs to that script a again this is open now since a alpha is open there exist n natural number such that x belongs to bn subset of a alpha right that implies x belongs to bn subset of a n that is x belongs to a n and a n belongs to scripted dash that is this covers x now since this is countable so x is Lindelof now we have seen that if x is second countable then it is first countable we have seen that if x is second countable then it is separable we have also seen that if x is second countable then it is Lindelof in the next lecture we will see that the converse is not true that is first countable does not imply second countable uh, Lindelof does not imply second countable also the separable space does not imply the second countable so we stopped here